Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com and welcome to Twerby Geeks House, Fall 2016. I like using my hands. You know, I could be moving in just a few weeks and I realized, wait a minute David, it's been years since you've done a house tour. And well, because this house is about to dramatically change, I figured, why not do one final house tour? of this house. Now, of course, when I do eventually move, I can promise you I will be doing a house tour maybe within, what, a month? Because I'm a lot more experienced nowadays. It's easier to organize, easier to set up. Basically, I'm a lot more efficient. So anyway, let's do this. Enjoy. So currently, I'm standing in my sunroom, which is actually one of my favorite rooms in this house, and I'm definitely going to miss it very much, mainly because of all the natural light and especially the metal roof. When it rains in here, Okay, it doesn't rain in here, that would be a problem. When it rains outside, the sound of the raindrops hitting the metal roof is just incredible. It's very relaxing to me. All right, so anyway, in this corner we have some Animal Crossing uh, plushies, a Mario head, a giant poop emoji, and down there, some more uh, miscellaneous gaming stuff. Chair, command, option, escape. If you're a Mac user, press that right now and see what that does. It's very helpful, I use it pretty often. A cat thing that Maui never uses, it's technically from my parents' house, so maybe he just doesn't like the scent of another cat. Another toy, I mean another thing Maui doesn't really use all that much. And right here we have a faux fireplace, you know, faux as in fake. It actually works quite well when it gets freezing in here because keep in mind, this is a sunroom, there's no real insulation, so it gets extremely cold in the winter. Uh, some kind of light, I think it's called a jellyfish, that's for my friend Alfred. Piranha plant, uh, Schwinn Bluetooth speaker. I'm not going to go through each and every single item because that would take too long. Anyway, couch, a uh, little side table there I got from Target or Walmart, I forget. A very old daily office calendar with a quote every day. As you can see, it's quite yellow. I have not used it in so long. Actually, I haven't used it since Friday, July 25th, I think, 2015? So it's been over a year. That's okay, iPod shuffle box. This desk right here is likely something I will not be taking with me. A trash can's trash. All this is trash, actually. I'm just looking to downsize some old video lights, which I will be taking with me. And here is the kitchen, which is directly connected to the sunroom. I'm not gonna lie, the kitchen's not a lot to look at, but you know what? I've lived here for four years, so obviously it's been enough to get me through, especially that one single counter. Hey, that's a challenge, but I managed quite well. So my new kitchen has four counters instead of one. It has like 12 cabinets instead of three. I don't really use those cabinets. That's more for sink stuff and whatever. So I'm definitely looking very, very forward to my new kitchen. But don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful for everything I've had throughout the past four years but I'm just excited about my future. For example, I will no longer need things like this. These little storage unit things. Uh, microwave's coming with me, toaster oven's coming with me. There's the trash can. Actually, that trash can is Amish made and it works quite well. There's the fridge and freezer. This right here is a true first world problem. Look, my food is literally blocking the light. I don't know, I just think it's funny. Yes, and look, plenty of fireball. These two are mine. And this is Joey Images, this is Dan's. Um, tequila. I've never tried a beef pot pie before. I love chicken pot pie, so I figured why not give beef a shot. So there you go. And then there's my, um, all the stuff in my fridge. Bunch of snacks. This will not be coming with me, by the way. So, it is what it is. Shout out to my friend Mary. This is like my, uh, Mary mural. Set at five times fast. There's the wedding pictures. Uh, Mario magnets, all that stuff. Cereal, I love Lucky Charms. I'm definitely a big, big fan of cereal. I just love cereal. So yeah, there's my kitchen, a stove, cabinet, stuff. Dishwasher, which in my four years of living in this house, I have not used once. All right, so you might be thinking, David, you're crazy. How do you not use a dishwasher once? Tolerance, uh, discipline, whatever. You need to teach yourself to wash dishes right away. Yes, something like the dishwasher may be convenient, but you as a house owner or a house renter or whatever, need to be responsible and wash dishes right away. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say my sink never gets filled with dishes because it does occasionally, 
but in my opinion, not using a dishwasher teaches you to be more efficient. That's just me. Trust me, I'm all for convenience when it comes to technology, but when it comes to kitchen appliances, eh, I'm here and there. And by the way, random note, I rented this from Redbox yesterday. The Shallows, pretty damn good. I enjoyed it very much. All right, so going into the bathroom, which will be another huge upgrade for me in my new house. There's the washer and the dryer. There's Maui's little corner with his litter box, which is something I will not be doing in my new place because I'm tired of stepping on litter. There's my shower, Aperture Laboratories. Yes, that is indeed from Portal. I love this shower curtain. I've had it since, what, I moved in? So maybe four years? These vines, I don't know what the previous tenant was thinking, but you know what? I tolerated them. I kept them there for four years, so why not? This window I've always liked. When I'm doing my business, I can look outside and watch the squirrels. That's probably TMI, but hey, it's the truth. Mirror, sink, bunch of toiletries and stuff like that. Some clothes on the side, hamper. Boom, boom, boom. It's a bathroom. It's not meant to be all that exciting. So going into my favorite room, because without all this stuff, videos like this would never exist. Now this is my office studio hybrid. As you can see, I have a lot of free room because I love the idea of walking from my entertainment room into my kitchen with zero obstacles whatsoever. Because previously my sofa was right here in my coffee table. So I had to squeeze between those two or go behind the couch. I know it sounds stupid, but for me, I'm all about convenience and a pretty well laid out room. Anyway, so yes, this is my office studio hybrid. There is my Ikea jerker. Terrible name, but amazing desk. This desk I got for $100 over 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago, when I was still a Windows user. That's how long it's been. Guys, $100, the best desk I've ever purchased. Unfortunately, Ikea doesn't make it anymore. They do make something a little similar called the uh, Galant, as in the car. So I just go to Ikea and search for Galant. Vanity speakers, love these things. Canon T4i, not the newest camera, but I love this thing. It is indeed my primary camera for videos where I just wanna sit at my desk. And plus I have the Rode Video Mic Pro up top right there. Some little cheap video light, which I don't use that often because I have daylight bulbs in this, in that, and in that. In other words, I like yellow lights. No, I like white lights over yellow lights. And I have this. Nothing beats natural light. So basically these daylight bulbs, they kind of simulate exactly what they sound like. Daylight, natural light. I mean, look at this. Instead of being yellow, I'm pretty well lit with white light. So going back to my primary setup, late 2013 Mac Pro, an LG 31 inch 4K monitor. I'm currently watching a webinar, which is being recorded. So I'll check it out later. 12.9 inch iPad Pro, water, magic keyboard, magic mouse two, a very worn out computer chair. But you know what? I'm the kind of person who finds a chair that I like and I keep it for a while. It's kind of like a phone case in my eyes. Let me switch hands here. For example, my iPhone success had this thing since launch and I've had the same exact case since launch. So in other words, once I find something I like, I typically stick with it. Two drones, boom, with a third drone over here, which I purposely broke. This thing is not trustworthy. Look at that. Wow. Worst drone I've ever used. Impressive specs, but I cannot simply trust it. Anyway, iPad Pro, as I was saying, dual hard drives, Apple Pencil, Apple Pencil holder, blue snowball mic, a little phone holder, which I do use occasionally. This is from Kristen and Steve's wedding. David DeFranco Jr., table 24. I do wish there was a comma there before Jr., but that's okay, that's okay. Shout out to Power Energy Toothpaste. I have not done a quote unquote first taste of this yet but I will be doing so in the very near future. Apparently it's toothpaste with caffeine, a world's first, which should be interesting. So there's my setup. Oh, and down here, I do have a blue lounge white box for cable organizing. So basically in there is a big power strip with a ton of cables. My cable management is not the best as you can see, but that certainly makes a big difference. And I do have a UPS right down there. 
And right to the left of my desk, I have these cubes. These are technically two units. I wasn't sure about stacking them on top of one another because I wasn't sure about the weight. But you know what? I've had both of these sets for months and they haven't collapsed yet. Now, moving these into my new house should be interesting, but for the time being, my primary concern with this setup is moving all of these Amiibo and all these small figurines, knickknacks and collectibles and whatever into boxes and finding a home for them eventually. I mean, if anything, my Amiibo will come out before any of this stuff does. And up top here, I do have an ASUS monitor, which is currently connected to my Quantum, no, not Quantum, um, just Byte Plus. Azul is now called, no, it was Quantum Bytes. No, it was Quantum, hold on. The company was called Quantum Suppliers. Now they're called Azul. So that's technically the Azul Byte Plus, not Quantum Byte Plus. Little confusing, but it's the same thing. But I recently uploaded a uh, review on that. Just go to my channel and search B-Y-T-E Bytes and you'll find it at the top. So yeah, there's all my collectibles and whatever. Actually, that's not even all of them. I have a gamer and geek shelf in here. Um, with even more things. I'll talk about that in a bit. And then to the right, we got a giant freaking Mario from uh, Seaside Heights, 10 inch Poke Audio subwoofer. And I have a 12 inch Poke Audio subwoofer in there. Pretty much the same exact models, just different sizes. Again, 12 inch, 10 inch. I really love bass and it works very well, um, especially when paired with these Vanatu speakers. I love these speakers. I love that subwoofer. And I love good audio. All right, where to next? Where to next? Steve Jobs poster. iPhone patent. That's not the actual patent, but hey, it's still pretty cool. Oh, hold on. Whoa, rewind. I cannot skip over this. This is my eye shrine. I'm very proud of this corner. Got the iPad Pro box down here. MacBook Pro box. My iPod collection, iPod Nanos, iPod Shuffles. I have quite a few iPhones. As you can see, they're sitting next to their um, respective boxes. Look at that, iPhone 3GS, the first iPhone to natively record video. And the original iPhone, yes, I own the original iPhone. I'm gonna boot that up on the iPhone's 10th birthday and I'll make a video about that. Some uh, Apple art from a viewer of mine. There is my very uh, shiny YouTube silver play button. I'm so, so proud of that. This right here is a definition of working hard. You need to stay determined, never give up, just keep on making videos, and eventually you'll get the snowball effect. And hey, if I can do it, then so can you. Eyesight camera, look at this thing. What a classic. Little Steve Jobs thing. Watch this, I'm gonna D-head him. Well, I guess B-head, but I was just saying D as in, anyway iPods. This right here is my first iPod ever. iPod fifth generation. No, I'm sorry. This is my fifth. No, hold on. This is my first iPod. iPod third generation, 30 gigabytes. But this is my favorite iPod ever, which is what I meant to say. A fifth generation, 60 gigabyte iPod. Awesome. OS 10 cat collection. Canary camera, my favorite smart home security camera. And there you go. So I have one of these and a second one over here. It's the same exact shelf you saw before in my sunroom. You see what I mean? The sound of the rain is just so relaxing. All right, it's going back into the office slash studio. Books, lots of books. Don't really read them. Just there for decoration to make me feel smart. And down here, some boxes I need to unbox. One up box, munch pack, arcade block. I have a bunch of notebook bags and iPad bags and all that stuff, so there you go. There's my tripod. Some boxes from uh, companies and products that I'm currently working with. There's the Vantru On-Dash X2 and the LG V20. Some video notes and expense reports and all that stuff. Yes, that's an Easter basket. That does not belong there. Another Steve Jobs inspirational poster. Minecraft pickaxe, Minecraft sword, and an old iMac, Intel iMac, Apple Cinema Display, Mac Mini, which is still dead, poor thing, Amiibo Collection. Back here, I do have the iMac G4 speakers. Yes, I do have an iMac G4. Shout out to Sully Dude. 
it's right in here. I just need to uh, fix its bezel. Boom, and an iMac G3. And under all that stuff is more stuff. These are just boxes I'll be using for moving. If anything, I'll probably put my Amiibo in here. So there you go, some shipping stuff, tape, envelopes, bubble wrap, all that stuff. Boom, boom, boom. And this is my hoverboard. I love this thing. A little close to the wall right now. Entered the Bluetooth. This is my favorite review product of all time. Seriously, I enjoy it that much. I'm really gonna miss um, riding this thing indoors. This is the perfect room for it. Look at this, I have plenty of space, nice and wide open. But of course, where I'm moving has streets and sidewalks, so there's no reason why I can't take it outside, but I'm still gonna miss riding it inside. Now, who knows? Maybe I'll find a way. All right, let's park this thing and continue with the tour. And now I'm a little dizzy. That's okay. There's my penny nickel board. I still ride it now and then. I'm just not very good. With my helmet, always use protection. White Xbox One, I love this console design. Look at this. It just fits. It just fits, guys, in this little side table thing I bought on Amazon. It looks beautiful, in my opinion. Some books. Mario, shout out to my friends Chris and Tiff. They got me this for Christmas. I love it. Um, Airport Extreme. Motorola SB6121. Do, do I saw that memorized? I do. Look at that, look at that. Four years later. Clever Loop. I think that's what it's called, Clever Loop. Some radios for uh, drones or whatever. Expense reports for my business, Amazon, and hosting and more. Always keep things organized that makes it easier every year for your taxes. Dual ASUS monitors, only this one's connected right now because, well, I don't have a white PS4 and I refuse to put a black console on this thing. I like the all white look. So eventually, eventually. Headset for my Twitch streams, Xbox One controller right there as I'm kicking the dead drone. And a little Yoshi uh, coaster. Not a bad setup, especially considering I have the Kinect up there. And yes, it drives me nuts. Stupid drone. It drives me nuts that these aren't equal. Sometimes they are, but then they'll just start to fall. And I think it's falling. Yep, there it goes. Because the Kinect is so heavy. But hey, not a big deal, not a big deal. Oh, and of course the Animal Crossing poster. I keep some keys over there and some documents and some things I never even opened, Halo and Titanfall stuff. So, oh, also I cannot skip over this. Cable organizing, guys. <laughs> cable organizing goes such a long way. If I went on an HDMI cable, boom, right there. If I went on an Ethernet cable, boom, right there. And I have micro USB, mini USB, regular USB, SD card readers, power adapters, all that stuff. Even iPhone cases and LG V20 cases. Guys, organization, I'm telling you goes an extremely long way and can save you a lot of frustration. And shout out to my friend Mary again. She was nice enough to make me this beautiful, beautiful Apple artwork. Look at that, just downright incredible. There's a lot of detail in that. It's very cool. And up here is a coffee thing that I bought from Walmart a while back. And also I have an Animal Crossing calendar here and a YouTube, uh, well, the Frankie Media plaque that was also from my friend Mary. She's very generous. I don't deserve all this stuff, but thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. I'm sure there's a few things I skipped over, like the video light and the vacuum. I don't need to talk about that because that sucks. You get it, it sucks, it's a vacuum. All right, going to my entertainment room, which was never really finished. I mean, I'm not gonna bother finishing now because I'm moving, but there it is. It's quite cozy though, I'll say that. It's quite cozy. And it's actually the perfect size for an entertainment room. This is my Last of Us Shrine because it's one of my favorite games of all time. It deserves all the recognition it gets. Seriously, this game is just incredible. So I have some of my favorite pieces of art up there. Plus I have a whole book full of them um, from a viewer. Rear speakers, Onkyo, Yamaha speakers. I do not have a center channel yet because it can't fit 
under here, which is like a lift for my TV, but that's okay. I'll be getting a new center channel speaker once I move in. I'm still using the same 46 inch Samsung 1080p TV. Eventually, I'll get a new TV. Honestly though, I'm quite happy with this, but I promise, eventually, eventually. 12 inch sub, like I mentioned before. Jobs poster. Another Steve Jobs poster. It's from a viewer, but my God, it looks terrible. Look at this, I need to frame these things. Lamp, a very creepy Steve Jobs doll sitting on a, on a couch. <laughs> it's so weird, but I love it. Apple TV, PS4, Wii U, PlayStation TV, which blends in quite well. There you go, look at that, black on black, you can't even say it. Xbox One, Harman Kardon receiver, and a bunch of accessories for gaming, Wiimotes, keyboards, controllers, headset for PS4, headset for Xbox One. So, there's that. And over here, a very comfy couch. Seriously, this couch is very comfy. You sit your booty on here, you will not want to leave. So yes, awesome couch. I do not have a coffee table. Why? Because I don't need one. Having a coffee table will just take up a lot of space. So instead I use this for my food and for my coffee and it works fine. It was like $10 and I have a second one for whenever um, I have company over, family or friends. A very large sized area rug. I got this thing a while ago. Actually, this used to be in here. So, yeah, I kind of squeezed it in. And for those who have been watching me, you probably know by now that my office has moved three times. My office was in here. Eventually, it was in here. And now it's obviously in here. So I made quite a few changes in the last four years. I just love moving things. I love organizing. So there's my entertainment room. Of course, I cannot not mention these. Video games, Xbox 360, Blu-ray collection, Wii U collection, PS4, Xbox One games, all that good stuff. I even have my Wii games up in 3DS, which I don't really play that often. Uh, PlayStation Vita, uh, Ukulele, which is from a viewer. I just need to use it more. I'm, I'm very bad with it. Um, Guitar Hero Guitar, I love that game. Uh, stars, which actually look very romantic. Seriously though, those stars do look incredible. If you come over and we chill on the couch or whatever and I turn the stars on with the lights off over here, it looks amazing. It really does. Fine, I'll turn them on. Let me see here. You're not gonna get the full effect right now, but believe me, it looks really, really good at night. Let me turn this off, it'll definitely help. Here we go. Look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, okay. So I went over the video games. Oh, guys, look at poor Bruce. I'm completely out of helium, so Bruce is officially dead. Eventually I'll fix him. And my Angry Birds collection. Pew! I like to keep it unplugged. And some emoji pillows. And finally, back here behind this door, I have some random tripods, random posters, old camera bags, and all that stuff. Fun fact, this door was originally in this doorway. And this door was originally in this doorway. So for the first time in my life, I actually switched doors by myself, which was a fun little project. And let me tell you, don't take hinges for granted because these hinges make doors feels so freaking light. The second these doors come off the hinges, they are so heavy. So just let that sink in for a little bit. I know that's probably common sense, but it's just something we don't think about all that often. At least I don't. Save energy. Oh, and MacBook Pro. It was just charging on the floor, so. Boom. This webinar is still going. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, into the bedroom we go. It's not a lot to say. It's my bedroom, I don't really care about my bedroom all that much. I sleep in here and I watch Netflix. Actually, I really, really do like my setup because I currently have my third generation Apple TV right here. A little dusty, I really should have dusted before I made this video. Oh well. So yeah, I use this thing every night with my third ASUS monitor because if you watch my older videos, you will see that I used to have a triple monitor setup and I used all three of these ASUS displays on this desk. 
But eventually I downsized to a single 4K monitor, which is beautiful. I love this thing. Thousand dollars, but worth it. So for now I'm using this monitor with my third generation Apple TV and it works perfectly. I have this little remote holder that a viewer sent me a while back. Look at this, a little piece of plastic can make such a big difference. You just slide it in, boom, works great. Pillows, blankets, PlayStation Vita, because I've been playing King Oddball a lot lately. Turn that on, there you go. I'm in the secret uh, mustache world or whatever they call it, so that's taken me a while to beat, but I'll get there. 9.7 inch iPad Pro, I use it every day. And here's my Gamer and Geek shelf. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff when I move. I mean, I'm just gonna throw it all into a box, but when I do eventually get to my new house, I don't know where it's all going. I don't know, it might just go into storage. We'll see, we'll see. I'm looking to downsize a little bit. I don't like clutter. All right, so over here, old Power Mac G4, some random things. This is like my charging corner. All my phones are right here. The V20 is currently over there. But th this is like my universal phone charger. I got USB on here, I got lightning, all that stuff. Wii U gamepad. Shout out to my friend Kev. He was nice enough to get me this dual PS4 controller charger. So it charges two at once, which is great. You just pop it on, boom. And a Nyko Xbox One controller. And there's my Apple Watch charger. So yeah, like I said, this is my universal like charging station and I love it. It makes charging that much easier. And there's a big ass mirror. And that's me. Oh, and behind this door is Mr. Coffee, also known as Dave, and Bacon, who is banging AF. Down here are two bags, random stuff, camping stuff, and that's seaside stuff. Not all of it though. There's a bike seat in here. I don't know why I kept my old bike seat. I'm just gonna throw that away. Speaking of Seaside, I got this in Seaside. A poop hat. I'm not gonna put it on right now. You get the idea though. And here's my cube. I turn that on every night when I go to bed. It does an animation for 30 minutes without looping. 30 minutes, well I mean it eventually loops, but 30 minutes of unique animations, if that makes sense. And down here is the Amazon Echo. I love this thing. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why was the sand wet? Because the sea weed. Hmm, funny, yet borderline offensive. And there's the first generation Apple TV. My, how far we've come. Empty helium tank and some random stuffed animals. No shame, no shame. Oh, and I also have some Minecraft animals right here. Just chilling. I would say that's it, but I'm gonna take you guys down into a room that I rarely show you. And that's the basement. <laughs> Here's my horse head and Pikachu thing and jackets. Very steep steps. Now my new place does not have a basement, but it has a full sized walk-in attic. So basically my basement will become my attic or my attic will become my basement, depending on how you want to look at that. Things are a little unorganized right now because I'm currently in the process of getting things ready to move and I'm throwing away a bunch of stuff. But this is my basement. All my Christmas decorations. I have a bunch of old tech down here like this AOC 29 inch um, ultra wide monitor. I'm sure I'll find a use for that eventually. My old Logitech speakers, more speakers, uh, my space heater, my old video games are in there like my PlayStation games, Dreamcast, all that stuff. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff I have to go through, but I'm not too worried about it. Still have a month. And also what's really cool about this house is it technically is owned by my Aunt Teresa. And I was here years ago. Look at this. I made this terrible painting in April 7th. Yeah, I made it in April 7th. No, on April 7th, 2001. And I had no idea that I would eventually be living here one day. Isn't that cool? But the real story is what the hell is going on here why are his clothes transparent and why are his hands like round mittens or whatever and why does he have orange hair is that even me i don't know i just know that these are still some of my favorite consoles to date the original xbox ps2 n64 and especially 
The Dreamcast. It's thinking. So there's the basement. Also, back here is some kind of hidden room. I've never gone in there. I've looked briefly, but I've never gone in there. So when I do move eventually and all this stuff is out of here, shout out to David Banther, and this is your cabin on the go. When all this stuff is out of here, I will be going in there with a camera and a light, or maybe even just night vision on this camera, and showing you guys what's inside. I'm not going to lie, it freaks me out a little, but it should be fun. Old picture of Chris and me. And Javion! Look at my little Javion. She's so cute. Best dog ever. All right, there's the basement. It's the room I rarely show you. For obvious reasons, it's a basement. It's nothing that exciting. All right. Is that the tour? Is that it? I'm not gonna take you guys outside because it's raining. But I think that is it. All right, so with that said, if you're curious about anything you saw in this video, at least anything that pertains to technology, go to davidsthings.com. I'll link it right below. That has pretty much everything I showed in this video, um, at least in regards to like the video games and computers and monitors and accessories and even my iPhone case. If you want the same exact transparent iPhone case, it's on davidsthings.com. And also, David's Things now has a Facebook page. So be sure to like it right below, and occasionally I'll post links and pictures or whatever to devices, accessories, gadgets, whatever, that I think you guys will find interesting. All right, there I go again. Yep, I do this all the time in the weekend vlog. I tend to walk around. Anyway, guys, this is not the last video in relation to the house. You'll see, I mean, eventually I want to create like a looking back video about my favorite memories that happened in this house. But this is my last house tour ever in this house. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support. I look forward to making many more videos in the very near future. This is just the beginning in a way. And while I'm just saying, I'm excited about things that are happening. I can't wait to show you guys more. Thank you so much for your support. Peace.